girl be Her eyes are open wide And yet she's in a daydream That's better than real life She knows the secret country Where the grown-ups never go Why, she's Alice, Alice in Wonderland Alice, Alice in Wonderland Curious friends and happy adventures too This is really going too far now. I wonder what they'll think of next. There's no limit to what people will do for the sake of publicity. Oh. Oh. Unbelievable as it sounds, there's a madman who wants to try and fly with a hot air balloon. What a wonderful idea. It's bad manners to read over someone's shoulder, Alice. Yes, I know, Mummy. I'm sorry. <laughs> the world's getting crazier every day. Personally, I'm against newfangled notions of this kind. If God had meant us to fly, he'd have given us wings, that's what I say. You're quite right, dear, but there's no need to get so excited. But they're not newfangled notions, Daddy. This book says men have been dreaming of flying for centuries. Leonardo da Vinci drew lots of flying machines. Pure fantasy. It's ridiculous to imagine that one day we won't need our horses and carriages to travel about because we shall have sprouted wings like birds. But, Daddy, this book says... Celia, please, not now, child. Now, it's uh, time for you to relax with a nice hot cup yes. of tea, dear. Come along. <laughs> Yeah. There we are. Huh. <laughs> Meanwhile, you two should go into the garden and play in the sun. Oh, please, Mummy, I'd much rather stay here and read all about Leonardo da Vinci in my new encyclopedia. I'll go, Mummy. Benny, Bunny and I like playing outside. <laughs> Daddy was so patient with Celia. Wouldn't it be wonderful to fly? <laughs> <laughs> What do you think it is? It looks like a very big balloon. It looks as if it's going to land. It not only looks as if it's going to land, it is going to land right on top of us. Morning. Oh, it's only Don Fernando. Yes, and his horse, Wanderer. What do you think of my invention? This is the first time out on a trial run. The air wasn't hot enough. I lost altitude, so I was forced to do an emergency landing. <laughs> Poor quality. <laughs> well, my invention isn't perfect yet, but I'm working hard to make it airworthy. It doesn't inspire me with much confidence. Can a balloon really fly? What makes it take off? Yes, it flies when the air is heated. I mean, of course, the air that's inside the balloon. When that air is hot, it becomes lighter <coughs> than the air outside the balloon. <laughs> As a result, the balloon will start to rise slowly. All you need, then, is a gentle uh -huh. breeze to carry it upwards. Uh, come with me and I'll show you. What is that thing? That's out of the question. It looks just like a hanging basket. You won't catch us in that thing. Benny, mind your manners. You're offending Don Fernando. I don't care. <laughs> We'd be delighted to accept your invitation. And I'm delighted that you have. The more the merrier, I always say. Get in. 
sitting in a basket. Is it the latest fashion? Yes, it is. You can fly all the way to the moon in this basket. What? I asked you a serious question. And a serious question deserves a serious answer. It's common courtesy, Alice. Alice is serious. It's true. Let me try and explain it to you. With the help of the balloon, the basket loses its weight and can fly through the air. At least we hope so. You haven't changed your mind about coming with me. I'd hate to offend you, Don Fernando, but I'm starting to have second thoughts mm. about this trip. If you're seriously going through with this nonsense, we insist on coming along. <laughs> Not only do we welcome any novelty introduced into Wonderland, but we make a point of being the first to put it to the test. Good morning, Uncle. We've been invited to fly with Don Fernando and his big balloon. I'm sorry, Benny Bunny. I haven't time to stand and chat to you now because I've been summoned to the castle by the Queen of Hearts. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh, I have my fur and whiskers. I'm late again. I'll never make it to the castle on time. What am I going to do? Oh, dear. Come with us. We'll fly you to the castle. I'd be very honoured to have the pleasure of your company, my good friend. Do try Don Fernando's invention. Very well, then. I have no choice, but I hope this isn't a joke. <laughs> right, let's go. Hello, my dear friends. Would anyone like to play a quick game of croquet with me? There's no time for croquet now. We're testing Don Fernando's invention. You're holding us up. Please come aboard and let's leave at once without delay. Oh. Oh. I don't think we'll be able to take off, Benny Bunny. The basket's far too heavy. It's overloaded with too many people. Overloading shouldn't be a problem if my calculations are correct. All you need to do is heat up the right amount of air. Mm. Oh. Oh. in my sky. With respect, Your Majesty, that object's a hot air balloon. Are you serious? Oh, there's the Queen. She's seen us. I wonder what sort of reception I'll get. Does she seem happy or upset? I can't see that far. I didn't eat enough carrots when I was small. Hello, my dear friend. Hello. Oh. <laughs> <sighs> oh. I don't need to see her face, Uncle, to tell you that she's absolutely furious. Oh, I can feel the bump already. Oh, they'll be punished <gasps> for this. Make them land at once. That's an order we can't obey, Mum. They're in the air, you see, and we're on the ground, and no one's taught us to fly yet. Mm. Thank you for bringing the oversight to my attention. You're welcome, Your Majesty. I'll be glad in future to bring all such oversights to Your Majesty's attention. Mm. I meant shoot them down. Uh -huh. oh. Aim your cannon at them. Fire at the balloon. Your Majesty, the Queen has every right to be upset. After all, she summoned me to her presence. I'm keeping her waiting. I must go to her this instant. But, Uncle, wouldn't it be better to wait until the balloon has landed safely? Yes, I agree with you, dear nephew. Unfortunately, I can't wait that long. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, 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 fire! <laughs> oh, what's going on? What the hell? You've just wasted my last cannonball. You dodos couldn't even hit the balloon. We beg your forgiveness, Your Majesty, but it's not all that easy to hit a moving object. We all make mistakes, and I do try to be understanding and forgiving. Three days of rest on bread and water. Oh, Your Majesty. Oh. Bring the royal balloon around to the main gate, equipped and ready for a 
immediate takeoff. They won't get away with this. Go on, hurry up! Your Majesty seems to forget that Wonderland doesn't own a hot air balloon. What? We don't own one? Where's the Royal Engineer? He's carrying out your orders to repair the Royal Water Tap, Your Majesty. It's been leaking for days. Go and tell him that he must put aside all his other jobs because he must build a balloon for his queen. Is that clear? Tell him I want a balloon that will fly higher and faster than all the others. I want the best balloon in Wonderland. Yes, Your Majesty, at once. <laughs> Soldier, tell me who is the Royal Engineer. I don't think I know him. Oh, but Your Majesty does know him. His name is Little Bill. Of course. Tell him to hurry up with the job. We need the balloon urgently. Right. Did he say little Bill? Oh, no! Oh! Most beautiful hot air balloon, Your Majesty. Mm. Oh. Mm. He's built us a fireplace. Oh, come aboard, my love. I'd never forgive myself if you missed this historic moment. No, no, my little angel, you go on without me. I'm not that keen on your historic moments. <laughs> oh, please, for my sake. I'd like to enjoy your company during the flight. To be quite honest, my dear, that contraption doesn't inspire me with the slightest confidence. Uh, May I come me. flying too, Mama? I don't want to miss this. By all means, precious heart, but you'll have to behave. I must remind you this is not a pleasure trip. Oh, thank you, Mama. I'm so happy. I've always wanted to fly. Now this balloon will carry me up, up and well down. Well said, my son. You may represent me on this trip. Oh, but I don't want to go without you, Papa. It would only be half as much fun without you. That's bad luck, I'm afraid. I don't care much for this sort of thing. You can tell me all about it when you get back. Stop talking and get in. Come along. You shivering, Papa? Are you cold? No, I'm just afraid of being airsick, my boy. My nose bleeds if I as much as climb to the top of the castle, let alone go up in a balloon. I'll go and ask Mama not to climb too high. I've brought you coffee, tea, and wine. Uh... Little Bill, how much longer? When can we take off? Any second now, just as soon as the ropes are loosened. Have patience, Your Majesty. You'll soon be airborne. What's that? What exactly do you mean, Little Bill? Do you mean to say you're not coming with us? Mm, 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 mm. I wouldn't be so silly. I want you on board at once, little Bill. Not a chance, Your Majesty. I'm not so stupid as... Your loot's out of tune. Half the strings are broken. You must get it fixed. It's not my loot, Your Majesty. It's something else. It's the sound made by the ropes holding the basket to the balloon. They're snapping off one by one. Just listen to them. I apologize for thinking it was your loot. Did you say it's the ropes holding the basket? Something of great interest. Really, Your Majesty? What news? I can hardly wait to hear it. Good, you're fired. And if by any chance we survive this adventure, I shall throw you out of the castle with my own two hands. And in the meantime, if I catch you, I'll tie your neck in knots. Oh, oh Your Majesty, how nice. Are you going home so soon? Oh. No jokes, please. This is no time for humour. Do something to help us get out of this basket. Oh, oh, oh. 
so angry with me? Was it something I said? If she wasn't ready to go home, why was she in such a hurry to land? Fernando, we've started to lose height. Oh, it's very strange indeed. It's almost as if we'd taken on some extra weight. And not just some weight, but quite a lot of weight. Mm. I heard that and I shan't forget it. Why is everyone always teasing me about my weight? Can you pinpoint on that map where we'll be landing, Don Fernando? Oh, yes, of course, my child. No problem at all. And if my calculations are correct, we should be landing on the prettiest and most interesting spot in the whole of Wonderland. But, uh, how can your calculations be correct? You're holding the map upside down. What? Oh, dear. Oh, I must amend my previous statement, ladies and gentlemen. I regret to announce that we shall be landing on the ugliest and most boring spot in the whole of Wonderland. The oh. ugliest spot? The most boring spot? Hmm? Oh. Wave. Wave? 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 Wave! Of all places! Oh. <laughs> It wasn't the smoothest landing, <laughs> but we have no reason to complain, really. Uh, well, that was my first and last balloon ride. Oh, what a desolate landscape. Your Majesty, this is a wonderful surprise. What are you doing here, of all places? When I know where we are, I'll tell you. You're in Wape, Your Majesty. <coughs> Haven't you ever been... Oh. <coughs> oh! <coughs> 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 What are they? Some kind of insect? They're corkscrew mice, Your Majesty. Now I know why I didn't want to come in the first place. Oh. Oh. Well, they're strange creatures. Very interesting, though. Why do they keep turning around in circles all the time? Corkscrew mice must keep turning around. By turning very fast like that, they can bore a hole in the ground and hide in it. You mean they drill themselves into the ground like drilling a hole in the wall? Yes, they can do it in a flash. I watched them once. I wonder if we'll catch them at it today. It's a pity we can't talk to them. They've got a very peculiar language, but they can understand us. Oh! Absolutely delightful. <laughs> oh, I've heard about a type of worm that could dig itself into the ground, but I've never heard of corkscrew mice. Well, they're awfully shy, and they don't like attracting attention to themselves. Then I shall have to do it for them, shan't I? Such pretty creatures shouldn't be kept hidden from the people of Wonderland. Please, Your Majesty, I hope you aren't planning on catching them for the Royal Zoo of Wonderland, are you? Animals need freedom. They'll like my zoo. Oh, what a pity. Now they've gone into hiding. They're hiding because they heard you and they don't want to end up in your zoo. No one wants to live in a zoo. Come out of there at once. Stop your queen orders you to stop. You must obey. <laughs> Exhausted. Give up, Your Majesty. They're much too fast for you and. Oh! 
can't stand it. I feel as if they're watching me and laughing behind my back. It's the most unpleasant feeling to have. I suppose so. That's how all animals must feel when they're locked up in a zoo and people come to stare at them. Now, isn't that odd? That's exactly how it feels. They're making fun of me as if I were an animal in the zoo. <laughs> all aboard, please, all aboard. We must take off now before it gets too dark. Come back, Mama. We're not stranded anymore. Don Fernando's kindly offered to give us a lift home in his hot air balloon. Only if we leave right away. Hurry up, Mama. Well, as Don Fernando's balloon's overloaded already, I suppose I shall have to leave these little animals behind. <sighs> uh, but that's not the real reason, Alice. I know that I'd feel sorry for them if they were locked up in a zoo. <laughs> <laughs> I wish now that I hadn't given in to my better feelings. If my zoo were the only one to have specimens of this rare breed on display, it would make all the other queens in the world burst with envy. I should have thought of that earlier. Take care, my darling! <laughs> Don't you let anyone bully you! And watch out for wild animals! <laughs> for her zoo, but I managed to dissuade her. You did. She's not all that bad, you know, Mummy. Deep down, she's got quite a kind heart. Oh. <laughs> Won't you tell me the rest of your story when we're back at the house, dear? It's very hot out here. We'll have a glass of cold lemonade, and then I want to hear all about your corkscrew mice and your trip in the hot air balloon. Corkscrew mice are so funny. Yes, I'm sure, but you mustn't call them corkscrew mice. The proper name is field mice. No, field mice are quite a different kettle of fish, Mummy. I wish I knew where you learnt these expressions, my child. Oh, at school, everyone talks like that. Oh, and I thought they'd teach you some sense there. Our next story concerns a flying kite. As soon as she dreams herself into Wonderland, Alice runs into the Queen of Hearts, who enjoys flying her kite in a very royal manner. But it wouldn't be Wonderland if this harmless pastime didn't turn into an exciting adventure. A cloud ship sails down to fetch Alice and to take her to the great sea of clouds, what she sees there is so breathtaking that it's better than any dream she's ever had. We don't have to tell you that Benny Bunny is with Alice all the way through her journey, even though he's not madly happy about it, because he knows that even up in the clouds you can run into some wicked creatures. They do have some frightening experiences, but even this adventure has a happy ending. Why don't you join us next time? Girl be her eyes are open wide, and yet she's in a daydream. 